To make a stencil in Microsoft Word, you're going to need a few supplies. First, you'll need your stencil font, and then a cardstock and a hobby knife so that you can cut it out. Uh, for the font, you can download some free options using the links in the resources section of this article. For me, I went ahead and used Stencilia, and let's go ahead and type in A. And that's not going to be quite big enough. For a stencil, you really want something that's going to be visible to the human eye at a good distance. So let's go ahead and make this a lot bigger and make it to where it fills up the entire page. So let's select it by highlighting it. And instead of 12, let's see how large this can go. That's not going to be quite big enough. So let's highlight it again and maybe go up to 600 and press enter. Great. Now that our font size is up to 600, we feel like that's taken up quite a bit more space. But let's go ahead and center it by highlighting it. And under the paragraph, going to center. Great. Now what we're going to want to do is hit Control P and go to print it. Now for your cardstock, you want that as opposed to regular paper that you would normally use because the thin paper isn't going to hold up as well to the wear and tear of spray painting or maybe just regular painting the way that a regular thicker cardstock would. So go ahead and uh, insert that into your printer and hit print. And then once it's out, you're going to want to cut out all the black area, which is why a stencil font is really important because if this wasn't sectioned out and instead it was black this whole way through, whenever you went to cut it out, you'd lose the shape of this A in the center. So having the proper font is really important. And that's how you make a stencil using Microsoft Word.